Jesse, since we're getting older, we're not doing much modeling anymore, and we're running out of money. And since you're the world's worst model, you've left us with no other choice. What are you talking about? We have a plan. I recently made a friend at the gym, and he's filthy rich. His son John is going to be at your school. He has a girlfriend, but you can get rid of her. You look pretty. Get the guy, marry him right out of school, and he'll support all of us. What? So I don't get to go to college? Oh, honey, I don't think you're smart enough. But also, we just don't have the money, if you want to go. So the next morning, walked in my prettiest dress and bright red lipstick. But when I got to school I wiped it off and changed into uniform. I'd study hard and get scholarship for college, I wasn't following my parents' awful plan. I spotted John pretty quickly though he was a great older than me and really into basketball and his cheerleader girlfriend. But soon enough, my parents were nagging me about my progress and I had to get a selfie with him. I kept trying to cath him alone, but his girlfriend never left his side. So one day I just followed him into the boys' bathroom. Whoa, what are you doing here? Oops, is this the boys' bathroom? Ah, uh, it can be dumb sometimes, but can I just say, I'm such a big fan of your game, could I have a selfie with you? He agreed and my mission was accomplished. But when we stepped out of the bathroom together, someone pulled me by my hair. What are you doing in there with my boyfriend, witch? Nothing. What's nothing? She followed me and pinned me to the ground, when suddenly a girl stepped in. Hey, leave the new girl alone. If you think my idiot brother is cheating on you, why don't you kick his butt? Eat glass, Kate. John led angry his girl away and the girl helped me up. Thank you, you're John's sister? Yeah, I'm Kate. After that day, we started hanging out together all the time. Wow, Jesse, you're really good at this. Yeah, actually love math. But tell that to my parents and they laugh they just think I'm a pretty face. Well you are pretty, but not just that. Just then Kate jumped up and switched on some music. Dance with me then. We twirled and giggled, and it was the most fun I ever had, and then she suddenly kissed me. Whoa. Oh, I thought there was a vibe. No, I just, I didn't expect that. I'm sorry, I thought we were on the same page. My parents expect me to marry a boy, a rich boy. Well, your parents aren't here, are they? I think you're really beautiful. I really good at math too, I lie. I grinned, and then I kissed her. Kate and I started dating, and it was amazing. One night I got in really late. We know what's going on, Jesse. What are you talking about? You come home late every day. You're texting all the time. I know you're dating my friend's kids. We're so proud of you, honey. Yeah, of course. Your friend's kids, that's who I'm dating. It's going great. Honey, you have to tell me how you got rid of John's girlfriend. She was just so much uglier than me, she didn't stand a chance. That's my girl. A few days later, when I got home, my parents told me that we were going out for dinner to John and Kate house, oh my god, no. I frantically called Kate, but she just wouldn't pick up her phone. I left her a text saying, coming over with my parents, they think John is my boyfriend, I'm so sorry, I hoped she'd see it before I got there. Her parents welcomed us warmly and just as I stepped inside, John walked into the hall, and I ran to him and hugged him. Please act like my boyfriend, I'll explain everything. Uh babe, hi, I missed you, even though we met in school few hours ago. 
oh, young love, so precious. So here's the thing, I'm gay, and I haven't told my parents yet, and they think I'm dating you, it's just something I said, just to make them happy, I'm gonna tell them the truth soon, but please, play along tonight. Ugh, fine, but, I love my girl, so don't fall for me or anything. I just told you, I'm gay, you moron. Kate walked in just as we were sitting down for dinner, and she smiled at me, so I knew she'd read my text. But as I acted lovey devey with John, I could tell, it was bothering her. And when, he and I, snuggled close to each other on the sala after dinner, she looked mad, after a few minutes, she just stormed off. Didn't she know, it was just an act. She wouldn't reply to my text later that night. Ugh. I just had to go see her. I quietly walked in and found her door. But when the doors opened I saw John and his girl who let out a horrible scream. Oh my god, I can explain. What makes bring you here in my boyfriend's bedroom, you witch? I told you not to fall for me, Jessie. What? Kate walked in. I heard a scream. Jessie, why are you in John's room? My question exactly? Everybody shut up. I'm in love with Kate. I'm here for her. I got the wrong door. Everyone looked shocked. And I just took Kate's hands and led her to her room. Why haven't you been replying to me? I don't know, Jesse. I know you were acting, but when I saw you with John, I just got jealous. That's what your parents want, right? They want you to date a boy. What if you want that too? I really don't want your brother, and I think I just said, I'm in love with you for the first time. Yeah, you did say that, I, I'm in love with you too, Jessie. And we kissed, and it was a perfect moment. I had to end this act and tell them the truth. And an opportunity turned up soon, John's parents had invited us all to his big basketball game. And Kate and I decided to tell everyone afterwards. As my parents wished John luck before the game. Suddenly, his girl came over and pushed them aside. Good luck my little smooch monster, break your legs. Jessie do something, I thought you got rid of her. Rid of me? As if I'm marrying John one day, and we're having so many babies together. You broke up, how could you let him go? Mom, we were never dating. Never dating? But we saw you two together, who have you been dating then? That would be me. Mom, Dad, Kate's my girlfriend. You, you're dating a girl? I did not spend my whole life making you presentable, so you could date a girl. This is humiliating. How will you go to college now, huh? If you stop treating me like a dumb Barbie doll, you'd know I'm smart enough to get a scholarship. We'll talk about this at home. There's nothing to talk about. And to make my point, I kissed Kate. Mom got so mad, she walked out of there. I was waiting to dad scream next, but he leaned in and whisper. Jesse, I'm okay with this. She's gotta be as rich as John, right? Of course, Kate was loaded. I didn't care, but it was good enough for dad and eventually convinced my mom that having a rich daughter was more important than having a straight one.